What's up, y'all? <clears throat> Coming back to y'all from the Mustang. Just showing y'all what, what I've been doing. As you can see, I've been straightening up my garage because uh, yeah, it's getting to that point where I gotta, I gotta get this stuff out of here. So y'all can see what I'm doing in the Mustang. I'm ready to take it to the uh, the interior place, but I had to do some some wiring. And uh, I already shared a little bit of what I did, but check this out. <clears throat> Put a little light in here so y'all can see it's all nice and cleaned up. That Dakota Digital, so that red wire right there goes to the control, the cruise control. So that is the only connection that I have not hooked up yet. But other than that, nice clean setup. See, nothing hanging. As you can see, everything looks good over here. Just that, that's just the control box over there uh, for this harness. But the GPS sensor is on this side mounted it to the HVAC box so you can see that and uh so that's how my my speedometer and everything will be red it's through GPS so check this out let me take y'all through the through the menus so I set mine up to come on when I turn the key so you can see everything but I can actually turn it on into demo mode so check this out I'll put it on demo mode just so you can see the needles do what they do gotta hold the switch and turn it on so it's in demo mode right now showing you how the needles sweep and say Dakota Digital down there at the bottom <clears throat> so that's the little demo mode that it do so to get out of demo mode you just turn it off okay so let me show y'all how I got my menu set up because this thing shows you everything okay so as you can see you see it says check engine but that's because there's some stuff under the hood that I need to take care of but get out of that see it says please set speed the reason why the GPS <coughs> uh, module has to be moved and it's just been sitting here in the garage, so I can't set the speed till I actually take it out for a ride. So y'all can see my my tank is full. Y'all see it say it got the degrees, so it's 96 degrees. And then I can cycle through all the stuff. So let me get a little closer. So y'all can see just how much information that I have access to with this. So that's my oil pressure. My voltmeter. tank is full but as you can see tank is full so it tell you digital with the percentage and it also gives you the needle like regular okay so it's 1141 this clock is controlled by the GPS so it sets itself that's the compass so right now it shows that I'm pointing southwest 140 feet above sea level and that is what that is the trip computer I think let me see yeah that's one of the trip computers it tells me what what my high speed was during the last ride or whatever it'll show my 0 to 60 
mile per hour and how many seconds quarter mile speed quarter mile time attack so it does the digital as well as the gauge high RPM that's because I was idling it earlier and hitting the gas a little bit so it's showing you my high RPM and it's 96 degrees so yeah <clears throat> this this does a lot more than just the regular the regular dash so I had to hook all this stuff up and I got it working really good and uh I like it. I can't wait to take it out for a ride. But as you can see, it's a nice clean hookup. It's a lot of connections. I can get up under there where I actually mounted the box at. So if you can see this, you can see it up under there. And then the GPS module is over there. So that GPS module tracks at least six satellites at a time to give to give uh, position and speed and everything. So I got some I got some I got some uh, got some latest technology. Got some of that late model technology up in here. So the noise you hear is the fans running constant because I grounded them because uh, with this new motor I didn't want to run it at all without the fans running. So I grounded the fans so they would just stay on constantly. Uh, I do have the, the the adjuster to make it cycle and all that, but I'll, I'll take care of that once I get it back from the, uh, the interior shop because that's where it's gonna go next. It's gonna go and get the interior put in it. And then um, I'm gonna have an alarm put in it. And um, the music and all that. I'm going to lay the wires. As you can see. I got wiring and stuff. It's the old dimmer switch. But you can see my RCAs. I just got a bunch of little, little goodies and stuff. The little terminals. Four gauge. So I can run all my wiring and everything. In fact, I got speaker wire, I got all kind of stuff in there. So uh, I'm gonna run all I'm gonna run all my speaker wire and my other stuff. Get everything wired in, wired up, and then they can they can just later you can see my viper. So that's the that's the Viper, but I also got the, uh, the Smart Start module should be in here. Yeah, here's the the Smart Start Pro, the DSM 550. This is the 4G LTE, so you can control it with your Android or your iPhone. So I'm gonna get all that in there. Might even take a stab at putting it in myself. I definitely can do that. But um, so y'all can see how it's looking. It's looking pretty nice as far as I'm concerned. Everything looked like it installed real good. Everything works. Uh, and I gotta, I'm gonna replace. I'm gonna pull this steering wheel and put my new one on, but. I'm going to wait till it comes from the interior shop. I don't want nobody rubbing up against my steering wheel and scarring the leather or the finish on it. So I'm going to get that done. I'm going to do that when I get it back from the interior shop. I'm going to be the first one to put my hands on that new steering wheel. So y'all can see what's going on, man. Just trying to get it ready. You know, it's hot out here in the garage. It's humid. I didn't broke out into a sweat already. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it's hot. So the 
Mustang is coming along. It does run, but I do got a vacuum issue I need to fix, so I don't want to take it nowhere and do nothing. But I'll be back at y'all in a minute. Appreciate you for watching. It's hot in the garage, and I'm out.